Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, the Calm Kiwi. This is Kingdom Hearts 3 Part 20. So we've got a lot to talk about after that last video. A lot of story content was in that one. So we have finally finished all the main worlds of Kingdom Hearts 3, the main hub worlds that you go to and explore and all that sort of stuff and fight enemies. Um, so yeah, Sans Friends Tokyo or whatever it's called was our last actual world. Pretty good world, I, I talked about it a little bit in those videos so I won't go too much into that. Um, the last video that you probably just watched, the part before this one, had the most story content in there. It was basically a whole video full of cutscenes, full of story and all that, good jazz and stuff. So, so just a quick summary, we completed all the worlds. The reason why we were going to each world in the first place was for sort of uh, regain his abilities and the powers that he lost to Xehanort in the previous game as well as unlock the the power of awakening I'm pretty sure it was called um, as well as all the story cutscenes that just happened we also got called to the dark realm where Riku and Mickey were lost in and um, we got called through a door uh, it was, Thor was basically lit there by the power of his heart that, so they say they his key, key blade lit the way or his heart lit the way and um, we ended up on Destiny Islands again which is Thor's home world which is the world that you first begin on in Kingdom Hearts 1 so it's a big as you know, reminiscing thing for, for all, our, all our Kingdom Hearts original people <laughs> I can't even speak properly and I'm that excited. So yeah, after being led to Disney Island, Sora walked through a door that led into one of their secret hiding spots. So once he goes through the store, he comes out in the dark ground. And the way they do this is actually pretty cool. It shows it from you know, it shows Sora walking through the door, leaving Donald and Goofy on Disney Island, and then it shows Riku and Mickey in the dark ground fighting, fighting Aqua, you know, the, the person that they're trying to save, um, one of the Keyblade wielders and one of the main characters in Birth by Sleep alongside Terra and Ventus. So if you know what's happening in the story of Kingdom Hearts so far, you know why Aqua is down there and what she's been doing down here and all the connections she has with Kingdom Hearts 1 and Mickey and all that sort of stuff. So I won't spoil too much, I won't try to spoil too much, I'll just talk about what happens in the story. So we fought Aqua, um, Aqua bested Riku, so again Sora came to the rescue by coming through a uh, door of light or whatever you like to call it to fight Aqua herself. Yeah, she was a pretty hard fight, she's a hard boss, took me, took me a couple, couple tries to beat her but I managed to do it and then besides that after saving Aqua and bringing her back with the power, power of waking power of waking sorry um, Aqua takes us on a trip to go save Ventus which is, which is something that she promised in Birth by Sleep so that's uh, cool moments, a lot of cool moments a lot of moments that we've been waiting for for a very long time probably since Birth by Sleep came out yeah, so so far pretty interesting things happening and it's not over yet the seven Keyblade builders have finally reunited came back together or um, especially Kyrie and Lee or Axel whatever you like to call them the newest ones um, they've been training this whole time so everyone's finally ready to go for the last and final battle of Organization 13 so that's up next this gummy mission I'm doing right now is actually me trying to get to the Keyblade graveyard. This is a very annoying bit to me. So if you want to skip this bit, go hard. If you want to skip my intro, that's fine too. But I hope you enjoy the video and the gameplay and that sort of stuff. So that's my summary for this vid. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't know how long the next introduction or summary will be, depending on what happens in the story. So yeah, before I talk too much, I'll end it right here. I hope you enjoy. Again, that's me, the Kyle Kiwi, and I'll catch you guys next time.
is at a dead end?
It's time. The Keyblade Graveyard is up ahead. <laughs> Someone's coming. Legend has it that darkness once covered the world. We know so little about the Keyblade War, only that it was just the beginning. If ruin brings about creation, what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? Or will all of creation be instead returned to the shadows? Today we will recreate the legend and see. <sighs> but first, your light shines far too brightly. It must be extinguished in order for the truth to be seen. Only when your hopes have been broken by battle upon battle can the key be claimed to Kingdom Hearts. And break you is what we shall do. It has been etched. How many there are! Oh, oh! <laughs> okay, gang, get ready! <laughs>
Everybody else has gone on ahead. We got a bird. Is everybody okay?
Come on, let's go. <sighs> Tara! Then! Tara, we found you! Tara, please say you're in there. What gives, Aqua? I know that you're not him. Huh? Now let our friend go! <sighs> he is their 13th! Today is the day you all lose. What? Before you even face the Thirteen, every last one of you will be torn heart from body. But fear not. The Keyblade will still be forged. We're not gonna lose to you. Can't be real. Huh? Oh. Huh. Oh. Pull it together, Sora. Huh? We haven't lost them. They still have their hearts. But... We have to protect them. Right! <laughs> we stand together. Hmm. <laughs> uh. ah! Mickey, Kyrie, Goofy, watch the others. No! We should all get to safety while we still can! It's too late for that.
It can't be. No. They're gone. Kyrie, Donald, Goofy, the King, gone forever. What do we do? <sighs> Without them, I... All my strength came from them. They gave me all of it. Alone? I'm worthless. We've lost. It's over. <laughs> Sora, you don't believe that. I know you don't. Checkmate. And so darkness prevails, and light expires. You need a new strategy. My move, isn't it? Uh, huh? It's not over. Come on! That's not fair. I know I had you. Yes, you nearly did. But a game's no fun if you know where it's going. There's more to light than meets the eye. I told you. Uh. Hmm. Some light comes from the past.
Where am I? Hello? <laughs> the name's Chirithi, and this is the final world. I'm Sora. What's the final world? There's nothing else beyond this. You've wandered here more than once before on your visits to the Station of Awakening, but I let that slide. The edges of sleep and death touch, and one can't help the occasional crossover. Wait, death? Yes, the natural end for those whose hearts and bodies perish together. But some persist and arrive here. My heart and body perished? Um, does that mean... Something is holding you here. Refusing to let you go. You're hanging by a thread. What about my friends? I'm afraid that no one else arrived with you. And if they're not here, they're either <gasps> gone forever, or they're clinging to the world you came from. <gasps> I'm going back! Whoa, whoa! How exactly? You can't just wander out like your other visits. What? I told you. The other times you came here by your own choice. This time is very different. To become your old self again and return to the real world, you'll have to piece yourself back together in this world first. Ah! Why am I in pieces? What? No, not literally, of course. Huh? You're conceptually in pieces. On the inside, who knows? But on the outside, you're just fine. Oh, okay. You kind of freaked me out there. Oh, boy. <sighs> Usually, only a heart can reach the final world. But since you've clearly managed to retain some kind of form, that can only mean your body was cast into this world as well. Okay, so then if I can find my body, that means I'll be able to go back? Precisely. But there's a lot of you to find. You're going to be busy. These must be pieces of me.
Hello? Good day. Oh, cool! You can talk! You look like a person. Oh. How is it that you retain your appearance? Are you special? Oh. Um... I'm a little hazy on the details. As are we all. So, whose heart are you? No one's anymore. They took away my name. Everything about me. No way! They couldn't have taken away your heart. Only because it pines for another. Yeah? Someone's coming for you? I cannot be certain. He's been changed beyond recognition. His heart replaced with another's. But, were he to regain his old self again, he would be distressed by my absence. So I choose to wait here, where he can find me. Oh. <laughs> Good. You have to believe. Believe? Oh, you mean know in my heart he will return? Without any proof? Exactly. Believe. I thought it was all over for me. But a friend of mine looked me in the eye and said, You don't believe that. <laughs> so, uh, who did this to you? Heartless steel hearts? So, a nobody? Uh, somebody. Really? Hmm. Well, I wish I could help, but my situation's no better. <sighs> you must see to the tasks before you first. The tasks before me? <laughs> There's so many. All the more reason for you to make an effort. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I just wish I knew what to do. Here you are on the brink, and yet you hold on to who you are. You possess a strong sense of purpose, and in that purpose you will find direction. <sighs> Thank you. I'm really glad we met. You cheer me up. I hope that friend of yours finds you soon. Thank you. Me too. Oh, hey! If I see him, I'll tell him that you're here. What's his name? Huh? Our secret. Yes? It's me, Naminé. Naminé? I'm so glad that you managed to hold on to who you are. Why are you here? I was in Kairi's heart, but 
Then we were struck by a powerful darkness. And I woke up here. And Kairi? I can feel her heart. She's fighting with all her strength to keep you from fading away. So the reason I retained my form in this place... It's because she's holding you together. Go to her. I'm trying, but what about you? I can't just leave you stuck here. It's okay, really. Kyrie is where I came from. So when she's safe again, Kyrie is where I'll return. Naminé, I know that I'm supposed to thank you. The datascape doesn't count. I need to say the words myself. But not like this. You and Roxas can't tell me you're okay with this. I know how much you're hurting. I felt that pain through Roxas. He's the one they all miss. It's not me. Wrong! What about me? Kyrie? Donald? Goofy? The King? Roxas too, he misses you. And someone else special I know won't let you down. Sora, thank you. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna go save Kyrie, so at least you'll be free of this place. Okay? Oh, uh, wait. Huh? While sifting through memories, I spoke to Terra, the Keyblade wielder you've been looking for. He has a strong will, and it keeps him tethered to the Realm of Light. I'll try tracing that connection. Maybe that'll be enough to tip the scales in the other direction. Huh? Um... Let's just say I've got your back. That part of you? It reminds me of Kyrie. Thanks, Naminé. Oh! That's not the official thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, see ya! Be careful.